So here's a part two of my trip to San Miguel Allende and here's a fun fact. San Miguel Allende is the heart of Mexico and there's a lot of Americans and Canadians here that stay and live here which I didn't know and I thought it was pretty neat. Also it is very very touristy. This spot is just full of crowds so make sure you make reservations ahead of time which I did. I did like a month in advance. I did breakfast, dinners, you name it. And honestly, these pieces that I picked were delicious. So I will have that down below for you guys to check that out. Also, museum, not very fond of it. Creepy mannequin in the corner freaked me out. I ran down those stairs and I wasn't very too fond of the museum, not gonna lie to you, but I did like the white walls, it was kind of cool, and the architect. Also, I had to stop inside the cathedral because it was gorgeous everywhere you looked, so make sure you do check that out. Like I said, don't be surprised to see a crowd, there's just, it's very touristy, so a lot of people come down here even during the week. But I cannot stress this enough, do make reservations ahead of time. I do suggest making reservations at this restaurant called Quince. It was to die for, honestly. I loved everything about it. The view, the people around me, they were so catering, so friendly. Ceviche was bomb, and postre was bomb. When I say postre, I meant dessert. And don't forget to hang out in the, at night downtown because you will see a bunch of mariachis and don't forget to ask them for a song. So because I like avoiding crowds and it's not that I don't like people, I love meeting new people, but I would like my own space and privacy to draw so i would wake up super early like i normally do and sit at a bench and just draw so what i did here was actually draw this building across from me which was the museum that i went inside that i told you i wasn't really too fond of but i did like the structure and the well you know what i mean so i just wanted to show you guys a quick sketch of what i did of just some doodles i wasn't really too obsessive over it i just wanted to see what i can create to be honest and honestly this is actually my first time drawing a building here to walk a lot and there's a lot of uphills just to let you know, so do not bring your pretty shoes. Bring some walking shoes. Unless you want to take the taxi, but the whole point is for you to walk and look at the pretty buildings and the murals around. So expect to be sweating a lot. And also, do try the food from the streets. La comida de la calle is más mejor, honestly. It's bomb and delicious. I would prefer this than a restaurant, to be honest. And that's the majority of what I did. So you don't have to spend so much money at restaurants. You can have delicious food from the streets because they're so much better and they prepare right in front of you. Now my next attempt was to draw the cathedral and church. I thought it was gonna be the most difficult thing for me just because there's so much going on. But I'm glad I went for it and did something out of my comfort zone because the turnout was much better than I thought. Some 
Guadalupe. Although, even though I did go on this trip with my grandma, she didn't do well much of the walks with me. Majority of the time, I would go and explore by myself because we would just have breakfast, walk a little, she'd go back to the hotel, and she would sleep, and I would take off again because I would love to look at murals. Like, I want to see paintings and stuff, you know? So when I did the walk towards the murals, it was a little bit further from town, and the more I went further out, the scarier it kind of got. So my intuition kicked in, and the streets were getting lonely, and I knew better than to keep going. So just to let you know, always listen to your intuition. And so I found this vegan spot, had a green juice, relaxed, before I headed back. So I didn't really get to fully finish it. Um, I think I'll finish it when I get home. And then I'll finish also this page when I get home. But it's time to pack and... So if you're noticing this restaurant again, this was my go-to place to go have breakfast. The mole bomb. What else? It was like a bread with some applesauce, so good. And then we took some tortillas home, tortillas. And then I had to buy a mandil from them because I thought it was so cute. The Frida was on there and this is perfect when I'm painting so I don't get paint on my clothes. And the two lovely ladies, they were so freaking awesome, so friendly, and it was just such a great to build connections. So on my last day, I had to, I had to go and say bye to them because I don't know when I will see them again. I haven't decided if I wanted to paint it. Um, I'm probably just gonna leave it as is for now. And the last two sketches, I ended up finishing at home. So this one was a still life from my favorite restaurant, and this was the museum that was in San Miguel. So this is the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys again soon.